It only takes one geometrical shape to arise naturally in our universe, for the potential for complexity and diversity to arise. On the International Space Station, in zero gravity, a candle flame will naturally form a sphere that is interacting with the environment relative to its surface. I will show a small video clip now to support this idea. Therefore, we can see light radiates out spherically. The interior of the sphere will naturally form three-dimensional space. You can imagine the three dimensions of space formed within the centre of the sphere. The surface of the sphere forms a probabilistic wave front with each point on the wave front. Think of the points like this, representing a photon of energy or the potential for a photon of energy. Energy equals the Planck constant times the frequency. Each photon of energy has the potential to form a new spherical wave. We can think of the photon of energy as an oscillation or vibration as our future unfolds. This forms uncertainty between position along the wave front and momentum of the radiating energy radiating out from the center. This can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle between position and momentum with 4 pi in the equation representing the spherical geometry 4 pi We can reformulate this between energy and time because the process is based on photon energy and forms the passage of time. Therefore we have uncertainty between energy and time that is always greater than or equal to the Planck constant divided by 2 pi. 2 pi representing the circumference of the sphere. We can think of the circumference going around like this because it's a three-dimensional process. At the smallest part of this process, the centre of the sphere, we have a constant, a geometrical constant, that we see mathematically as the Planck constant divided by 2 pi, representing the same geometry. It's very logical and also very simple. It's a very simple process. The surface of the sphere forms a manifold for positive and negative charge, with the radiating energy always being at right angles to the surface of the sphere. We have to square the radius, r squared, because the process is relative to the cir cir circle surface. We therefore see, at the smallest scale, the probability function of quantum mechanics squared. We see the charge of the electron squared, and we see the speed of light squared, c squared. E squared, the charge of electron squared, and the Planck and the um, photon of energy is two aspects of the same geometrical process within each photon-electron coupling that is represented here. 
and at the centre of the sphere. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light is forming a repetition with photon energy equal to the Planck constant times the frequency, the frequency that we measure as a period of time. In my next video, I will show you this process. In my next video, I will show how this process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking can form entropy and disorganization with the potential for the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, the Fibonacci spiral. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory. It gives us a deeper understanding of time based on just three dimensions of space and one variable time. Thanks for watching.